Based on whatever you have in your lab and the requirements and budget you set for your drone, you should decide on an electric motor. Next step is to find the 3D model of that motor and use SOLIDWORKS to design around it. There is a huge database with countless 3D models called 3D Content Central, and you can access it from SOLIDWORKS. In the program, click on the Design Library icon and select 3D Content Central. Click on Supplier Content All Categories and double-click the icon that appears. A website will open where you can select the category or use the search bar to look up the specific part you want. You will need an account to download the part, but it's free and very easy to register. Once you log in, you can download the part and use it for your assembly. And since we are talking about standard parts, don't worry about fasteners just yet. Once your model is all set in terms of the shape, you can grab screws and nuts from the toolbox, another database of standard components available as an add-in. More than that, SOLIDWORKS will adjust the configuration of the screws to match the size of the hole, so that you know exactly what to buy when you go to the hardware store. Most likely, many of your components will go through various shapes before you decide on the final design. And because the components are assembled together, a change in one of them would have to be reflected in all the surrounding ones. One way to manage all this is to work with sub-assemblies. Try and improve the main body first, where you will place components relative to the motor and the battery. Then figure out the propellers, how many of them you want to use, how big they are, how they are connected, etc. Once you have the body and propellers, you can design the frame. The good thing is, if you change the structure of the frame, it won't affect the other sub-assemblies, as long as the part that connects to them stays the same. Bebop uses sub-assemblies too. The GPS, as well as the basket that holds the circuit board, were made as compact as possible. The camera mount was not essential, so it was designed to fit in the desired nose shape and around the GPS. Structural analysis allowed for the use of many holes to lower the mass. And as long as the frame properly connects to the basket, the four arms can be extended or modified based on test results. Once you have a sub-assembly, you can start minimizing the mass. To do this, assign materials to the components and measure the mass of each of them and of the assembly. You can take note of which components are the heaviest and try to reduce the mass within limits. In the next video, I will show you how to optimize the frame using SOLIDWORKS simulation.